Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, it's one or two goals about for strikers. Well, this is how the home team shape up. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own right, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. It's Minnesota United's 11 here we're looking at now. And a look at the opposing side as well. It's pretty similar, Alan, isn't it? It is. I hope we're not in, uh, in for a snore fest here when there's not going to be many chances at either end. for joining us today. Enjoy the match. And it's the start of the game here. McNamara threads it through. This might be it! The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Great work by the goalkeeper. Great hands. Could be dangerous. He can put them in front. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game, but I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off, and they've taken the lead here. He is high and mighty with that goal. He was literally head and shoulders above everybody else there. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Vera. Towards Figueroa. Garcia. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. And they get it away. Garcia. Vera. Garcia. Put in from the wide area. Oh, so close with that header. Oh, he's good at that, isn't he? He really does connect well with those neck muscles. Alonso. They tried to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. McNamara. Now he's looking for support. Got the tackle in. Quintero. Neatly intercepted. McNamara. The men in the middle frustrated because that cross has gone straight behind. 
Oh, here we go, Mexican wave. Crowd trying to entertain themselves. Quintero. Alonso. Rodriguez. Trying to slip it through. That is a fantastic goal. Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. What did you make of it, Alan? Well, I thought he was onside, you know, but uh, he's gone through and tucked it away. But looking at the replay, yes, he had gone a bit early. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Trying to get the ball. Rodriguez. Ibarra. Mino Figueroa. Good interception. Quintero. Alonso. Ibarra. Now, can he take them on? Alonso. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Rodriguez, Quintero. Possession is the name of the game for this team. Alonso. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. He's cut it back looking for a teammate. We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. goes the corner that's a waste from the corner gone straight out for a goal kick Vera. Room now out of the wing. And that's what a coach would want to stop the supply into the middle. And that'll be a throw. Vera. Garcia. It's not a very active way of playing this for the defending team because they're not going out and closing the opposition. They're just saying maybe a bit of a sighter, but it was a strong effort. I have seen him score from those kind of distances. And the shot had plenty of conviction, but it had too much height. Yeah, it would have been a worldie, that. And uh, he is capable of it, but not today. And the board shows three added minutes. Quintero. half-time 
Signaled by the referee. 1-0 the half-time score. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, I thought he looked lively in that first half. Really sharp and obviously got the goal. Another 45 of that and he'll be well pleased. So here we go for the second half. Ibarra. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. It'll be a throw. Ibarra. Quintero. And now the shot. Turn front now. Well, keep the concentration and they've won this match, I think. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. Restarting at 2-0. Martinez. Garcia. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. McNamara. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Garcia. Well, they're having to defend, aren't they? So he's come deep and he's got hold of the ball and they can build off him probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. Alonso. Garcia. Now he's looking for support. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Could get his cross in now. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Could whip it in from here. Teammates arriving for the cutback here. And shoots! Keeper might be needed again. He didn't hang on to the ball. Martinez. No difficulty for the goalkeeper, Manone. Well, we can catch up with the details of that injury from uh, our man Jeff Shrews. Jeff. Oh, horrible injury to his shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. Saw, but he's tough. I think he'll carry on. Many thanks, Jeff. Substitution for Houston Dynamo. We've got substitutes warming up for both sides, and both managers are going to bring on some fresh legs. Number 31, Rommel Kyoto. Garcia. Now he can cross it. Martinez. Good challenge here. Quintero. Substitution that the home side want to make. Ibarra. Bit of space for him now out on the wing. Well, then it goes. The natives are not happy with what they're seeing. Their team standing off the opposition, giving them far too much respect. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Delivered into the box. 
good defensive clearance there. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Here is Rodriguez. Quintero. And here's the shot. The shot gets blocked. He's going to try his luck. Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that. I think the coach will be considering his options on the bench. Coming on for the pitch, number 24. Darwin Seren. Corner's taken. Excellent header, millimetres away from scoring, really. I think he thought he had scored, and maybe the keeper did too. Seven minutes to go. Martinez. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Cleared away by the defender. That'll be a corner. He is a man in form, I would say, today. Well, you've only got to look at the screen to see how successful, how positive he's been around goal. He's been so effective and got on the score sheet as well. Superb performance. He's put in the corner and they get it away. Martinez. He could cross it from here. That's a corner. In goes the corner. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Just one minute left on the clock. The Good the chunk of added time here. Three minutes. Of three minutes of added time. Martinez. Makes the challenge here. Alonso. Ibarra. Got the ball and they're going at the off. Good vision. Great chance, and he's done it. Hat-trick, goal number three here, and it's a perfect day for the player. Well, Alan, maybe that's the one he'll treasure the most because it's given him the hat-trick. Yep, and uh, he'll be taking home that match ball with a great deal of pride. <laughs> Little surprising that it is as one-sided as this late in the game but the team leading dessert it's all over and there is the final whistle what a brilliant performance from this fella well he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref a hat trick and that's to be treasured by any player